Okay, so in this video, we're going to play with the directional light in the sky sphere to uh, adjust the lighting to make it uh, appropriate for our, 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 I guess, our Robin Hood Sherwood Forest. So I'm going to go with direct light. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, now this might be hidden or some. It doesn't actually matter where. I always bring it up where I can see it. The, the key that matters here is the E key, which is the rotate key. So I want you to pick something in your scene, like I had some trees here and so on. So I want you to see what happens when I rotate it. And one of the things that you want to do is pick what you think is the best rotation or angle. Now, this is the time of day. This is the angle, I mean, and this is the time of day. So if I go like this, it's late at night, late at night, almost like, and it just keeps rotating. So you, you can kind of choose it looks it definitely looks better this way so i'm going to go like that i could even angle it a little bit more uh but i want to just show you something now if i look in the sky if i rotate it you're going to notice that the sun is not actually moving with it so we need to fix that so i kind of like this sh shadow and i can go down i see that shadows are all working so this is very good news if ever it's not you would have to go in here and uh, under shadows, bring it up to high about. I don't know where you're at with your with your computers at school, but that's what you would have to do, okay? So uh, now what I want to do is type in Sky Sphere. Okay, so I have Skylight and Sky Sphere. The one I want is Sky Sphere. And what I'm looking for is Refresh Material. So um, what, look what happens when I click on this. It'll adjust. Uh, based on where the sun is placed okay so it's placed it over there another thing we can do is go back to our directional light so let's click on that and we can change the color a little bit let's make it it's a little bit cold it's supposed to be Sherwood Forest so I'm going to go and uh, go with that and I want to just show you uh, now we're going to go back to sky sphere so we'll have sky sphere and I want to uh, rotate it a lot so you can see oops I'm clicking on the wrong thing I think here I want to uh, go to directional light and change it and you'll see the Sun's still not in the right spot so what do we do so we go to sky sphere and then we refresh it and it adjusts it so you see the Sun goes over here so you want that to be right for whenever you to take your photos so I'm pretty happy with that and where's my character so I'll just type in uh, what did I call her oh there she is so I'll press F and maybe look a little bit oh you know what I want to definitely adjust the directional light. It doesn't look good like that. So it's important to always have a close up look. And I'm going to press the F key here and move that sideways. And let's go press down here on her F. It might even look better if. Uh, Shadows are going behind her. So I'm going to go with that, and then I'm going to go to my size gear, sky sphere, and click refresh. Okay, and it'll fix that in the sky. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this light. I'm going to leave it at that, and now I'm going to add some exponential fog. So if you go over here, just type fog, and what you want to do is drag your fog in. And uh, you want to change the settings a little bit. And, you know, the fog height fall off. Usually I go with two. Press enter. And you can change the color of the fog too if you like. If you think it helps with your scene. Again, we want to be near our character. So even maybe clicking on the character. Oops. And press F. And Alt. Oops. Control Z. 
health is your friend. And let's go back to the fog. So we need to bring it here, fog. So exponential fog is the one you want. And maybe increasing that. Maybe we want a little green tint in here since it's Sherwood Forest. And maybe, you know, you can play around with this. Maybe 1.3 is not enough. Or 2 is too high. You want something like that. And the fog density. You don't want it too dense because then you can't see the objects in your scene. So, um, yeah, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. Another thing you can also do with your light is you can always reduce the intensity if you think it's a little bit too bright. I'm pretty happy with that for now.